Welcome to Awesome Scuba Adventures. My name is Gary Leach. I'm a scuba instructor. This video is part of my scuba gear series looking at dive computers. In this video, I walk through the menu structure of the Aqualung i330R dive computer. Let's take a look. It is a two button interface. The buttons are on the right side of the computer. The top button is here and the bottom button is here. To turn on, you depress and hold uh, either one of them. So I'm gonna do the top one. It should pop on here in just a second. There it is. And it goes to the initial main screen, or the initial screen is the main screen. Uh, for each button, you can either push or push and hold. And at any point you wish to return to the main screen, which is this screen here, you push and hold both buttons until uh, you get back to the main screen for about two seconds or so. The starting point for both buttons is the main screen. First, we're going to step through the top button operations. Uh, you push the top button and step through those menus, and then we'll push and hold the top button and step through those menus. Then we'll step through the bottom button operations where we push the bottom button and step through those menu items, and then we push and hold the bottom button and step through those items. Uh, the top button menu items are at the same menu level as this main screen uh, while the bottom button menu items are one level below this main screen so let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, the first one we're going to do is push the top button and it's going to go to the alt one screen and it shows the fly and dsat information if we push that top button again Uh, there is an Alt-2 and an Alt-3 if uh, those pieces of information were in the computer. So if we push and hold the top button, it goes to the last dive one and last dive two if we do it again. In this case, uh, it's been out of the water long enough to not have any dives recorded in there right now. So they don't show anything again. I push and hold, or let's see, I push. Yeah, it goes back to the main screen. Okay, so <clears throat> now again, we're starting from the main screen. We're gonna go use the bottom buttons and uh, it goes through a list. So uh, if I just push, it should go through the plan. And then you can see on the sides here, what's next, log or info. We're gonna stay with hitting the bottom button in this case. Go to the log, set gas, alarms, date or utility, and then date and time, mode, history, your DC info, your dive computer info, and then my info screen, which is about you, I guess. Okay, so the plan mode, okay, or the plan screen, if we then push and hold the bottom button, we'll get into the planning screen, and Texas here and it shows quite a bit of information such as depth, uh, your NDL, your FO2, and your uh, gas. So uh, the gas one would be down here, which, which gas you're using if you have multiple gases. So if we push in, um, push the top and the bottom button together, we go back to the main menu, main screen. And then, uh, we'll, or this is the plan mode. So if we move down, or we're going to the plan mode now, or screen, hit the log screen. And if we push the bottom button and hold, we'll go in there. And it shows us the entry time, the surface time, the dive date, and the dive number for that date and that it was a no deco dive. And if we, again, push the top and bottom button together, uh, it'll go back to dive data one. Uh, if we push and hold the bottom button again, we'll get further in and it takes us to what would be dive data two. And it shows the max depth, average depth, uh, dive time and ascent rate. Again, if we hit the well, if we hit the 
bottom button and push it now, we're going to see even more data. And it's the exit time, the uh, minimum temp, and the elevation. Uh, and then hit that again if that exists. And it goes back to the uh, dive data one because it did not have the dive data four set of data available to it. So if we again push these two buttons, we'll go back to the main screen. And then we'll go down next to the set gas screens. And so uh, if we push and hold the bottom button, <clears throat> it goes and uh, defaults to gas one. And then if you push and hold that again, you'll get in to the details. It shows it's uh, FO2 of 21%. And that will roll from 21% to, per uh, to 100%, depending on uh, which button you you choose so if I uh, go push it once it goes to air 100% 99 you can do all this all the way through I'm gonna go back up here because it just rolls back up so we're going back to set it at 21% and then if you push and hold that bottom button again you'll go to the next level which is your uh, PO2, your uh, PPO2, the 1.4, which is for recreational divers, etc. So, and it shows you your uh, maximum operating depth at that point. So, to get out of here, you would have to push both buttons again and it takes you back to the main screen. So, now we've done uh, plan, log, set gas. We're going to hit alarms next. So I'm going to hit this down button until we get to alarms, which is here. And we want to go into it, so we push and hold it as the accept, if you will. And then you can push and hold and either turn it on or off. So there's your on, or you can turn it off. And if it goes on, it obviously beeps. So then if you push and hold goes back to audible and um, so if you push and hold again it's back to the on or off goes back to audible if you push and hold again so now you would want to push as opposed to push and hold and you can scroll through this sub menu and it'll go to depth alarm dive T alarm uh, in to bar alarm and your DTR alarm and goes back to audible. So let's go to the second one, which is a depth alarm. And we press and hold uh, and it'll give us a uh, hundred feet. So if we want to change that, we can change this. It goes by tens, it looked like. So you can set it to what depth you want. So let's go ahead and keep it at a hundred. And if I push and hold, it goes back to the depth alarm. Okay, so now we want to scroll down in this sub menu to uh, dive time alarm, D D dive T alarm, and we want to press and hold and select it. It's uh, off right now. We could set it to 180 minimum uh, and just toggle down through all these numbers or hit that top button and toggle up through numbers. Okay, so uh, we'll go ahead and leave that off and press and hold. It goes back to the dive T alarm screen. And if we hit the down button again, it goes to the uh, nitrogen bar alarm, the N2 bar alarm screen and push and hold. Take us in there. We've got it off right now, apparently. So if we can change that and uh, set it to various bar that we would want. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and leave that off as well. <clears throat> now we're going further down in this set of menus or this set of screens for this menu. Uh, DTR alarm, and we can select that. 
by pushing hold and we've got it it's set at 10 minutes if you want to go up go to 11 12 whatever if you want to go down you do that so uh, on the bottom button so we're going to leave it at 10 so press and hold takes us back to the DTR alarm and then we to get out of this oh well if we push down again we go back to the first item in the sub menus uh, so we're in the alarms uh, menu and so we want to get out of that so we press and hold to get back to the main screen and now we're going to toggle down through this series of screens in this other menu to get to utilities okay so we want to get into the utilities press and hold the bottom button we have a series of screens got brightness auto dim h2o type units bluetooth sample rate safety stop deep stop and conservative and it'll roll back up to brightness or yeah the brightness is the first one so we want to go into brightness push and hold and extraordinary or exceeded or something that's really bigger than bright so that's an option another option if you choose to scroll through these is a hundred percent ninety percent eighty down through whatever the brightness level is that you want and we're going to leave it at X okay so uh, we're going to push and hold and get out of that go back to brightness and now we hit once and start scrolling down through these screens get the auto dim and to go into it you press and hold and it'll be it's set for one minute right now so uh, if you accept that press and hold you can go to 60 50 40 30 20 10 or back to 60 Okay, so we want to get out of that, press and hold, and we go back to auto dim. And under the utilities, uh, we want to head on down to the H2O type. So we hit the down button, and there's the H2O type screen. Press and hold, and it's set to fresh water right now, going out to the lake. Let's say we want to change it to salt, because we want to go to the ocean, and we can do that, and either press and hold and save it, or we can go back to fresh because it's probably going to be used at the lake next. We'll leave it at that. So next after H2O type is units and press and hold to get into the units. And we've got feet and Fahrenheit or we could choose meters and centigrade. And we're going to put it back to feet and Fahrenheit and press and hold to save it. Get back to units. Scroll down to Bluetooth. <clears throat> Press and hold, either have that off or on. And we're gonna leave it off for now. And then we go to the next one down is sample rate. And we could select that and choose a sample rate. It's set to 30, maybe we do 15, or every two seconds, every 60 seconds. And that uh, number is selectable in those uh, set data sets so we have uh, 30 we're going to keep that the way it was go back to sample rate and if we push down again we get down to safety stop so if we want to <clears throat> edit that we push and hold and it's on right now you can choose off or you can choose set so maybe we want to set a, a safety stop so we push and hold and what it's set for right now is five minutes. You can choose different uh, number and uh, you could do three minutes, five minutes. So we'll go back to, let's set it for three minutes because that's our norm. And so we'll do that. Now that you've set that, it wants to know what depth you want to have that at. So we'll set it to 15 feet. You could do 10 feet, you could do 20 feet. Uh, we'll stay at 15 since that's what we teach. And then you press and hold, save that, and get back out to the safety stop screen. And scroll on down to the next utilities screen, which is deep stop. And let's say we want to put a deep stop on. 
and it's either on or off. And so we'll leave it on and press and hold, save that and get back out to the deep stop screen. Uh, the next screen under utilities is conservative and it's either on or, or let's see, Oop, that was, let me get back down to conservative. I could have gone up. Okay, push and hold. Okay, so right now it's off. I could do most, I could do more, and we'll leave it at off. Uh, you see the GF, the gradient factor number down there at 9090. If we went to most, it's 7035. Uh, more is 8535 and off is 9090. Okay, so we're going to save that and get out of there. Okay, so to get out of the utilities sub menu set, we need to push and hold both buttons and we do that again. Takes us out to the main screen and we want to push the bottom button to get down through these to get to the mode menu now. And there we are, push and hold, we wanna go in, and we wanna go into, we can either do dive mode, free mode, so free diving, or gauge mode, okay? So we'll leave it at dive since that's what we do. Okay, so that took us back to the main screen again. Wanna go back down through, toggle through these to get to history. And there we are, and we push and hold to go into history, and it shows us the history of uh, max depth, max dive time, minimum temp, and max or elevation. <clears throat> if we push to go to the next screen in this set, we see, see the total number of dives recorded on this computer and the total dive hours recorded on this computer. Again, if you push down, this just rolls through, keeps going rolling through, so you have to push both buttons to get back out and it will take you back out to the main screen. And then we will scroll down again, uh, past the history to the DC info, which is dive computer info. And it's about the dive computer. So we push and hold and that tells us what model it is, what serial number, uh, what firmware is on it, last cal, and the BT name. So. Uh, there's nothing else on here, so we push and hold to go back out to the main screen. And then we go down and get to our final uh, item in our menu list. It's going to be my history, or my info, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so you want to go into that, we push and hold, and it has potential for blood type and contact. So this is where you can put in uh, some information there. And again, there's nothing else beyond these. So you push and hold both buttons and it takes us back out to the main screen. So that is the Aqualung i330R computer in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this little video. And again, my name is Gary Leach and have a great day. I'm Gary Leach. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Awesome Scuba Adventures.